It is time. So we would like to begin Cyber Agents FY 2021 Q1 Results Briefing. This results briefing session is being live streamed. So with respect to the briefing content today, please refer to the disclaimer included in the presentation material. CEO Susumu Fujita will take you through the results. This is Fujita. We would like to go over the FI 2021 Q1 results. So our fiscal year ends at the end of September. So this quarter it covers from uh, October 1st to end of December. Overall, if we look at the results, we have done well. We have had a great start, but if we break that down, the advertising and media as you can see, has done very well. However, game temporarily has not performed as well. Overall sales was a record high. And this is by quarter. As you can see, the first quarter, we recorded, we reached a record high. And the consolidated OP, as I mentioned before, games, the game business, the profits decreased temporarily, but we were able to offset the decrease with the investment development business and the ad and media business did well, so we landed at 7 billion yen. In terms of SGNA, the first quarter, Winning ticket and game business, we spent marketing ex expenses on these two games and tickets. However, the expenses were basically flat, so not no significant change since the last quarter. And in terms of the number of employees, this quarter was also flat as well, no major change. And this is a PL. So it's quite straightforward. Balance sheet as well. There's nothing extraordinary worth mentioning. So the FY 2021 forecast, we just be began this fiscal year, but this is the forecast that we have for our business performance. And I guess this uh, forecast, we're off to a pretty good start. But the second quarter, we should be going back to our normal speed without the investment development business impact. But, and now moving on to the individual businesses, first starting with the internet, internet ab advertising. With this segment, we have performed well. Even amid COVID, we have reached a record high in the first quarter. And the OP was 5.7 billion yen. So Kiwami Prediction AI, we released a service. So we have Kiyomi Prediction AI, Prediction TD as well, we released recently. And so this will, this is going to be a strength for us in the advertising business. What these does is to measure the effect of forecasting and we can change the creative in real time to optimize its effectiveness and COVID-19 proved to be a tailwind for this business as well. There are various elements, but we have we excel, excel in operations and technologies. 
which are proving to be great weapons for maximizing advertising effectiveness. So we hope to continue to expand our market share in this area. Moving on to the game business. As I mentioned before, we are temporarily facing hardships, mainly because in the first quarter, there are some seasonal factors. So if you look at our track record, you can see that it tends to be lower, our performance tends to be lower in the first quarter. And we actually are facing challenges in operations and also the titles that we had expectations in. We didn't see the results that we had hoped for, for but in January, we've seen all of this go back to normal. We're recovering. So in, also in addition, in February, we are going to be releasing a huge title for us. So we believe that this uh, trend is temporary. This is the OP, so it has come down significantly. The big title that we will be releasing, we have invested a quite a significant amount over the couple last couple of years, and we will be releasing a new game in February on February eighteenth, Nia Reincarnation, and also February twenty fourth, the long awaited Uma Musume will also be released as well. So we have two major titles being released next month. So based. Um, depending on how well these launch and uh, trend, our game business performance should change significantly. And in terms of other upcoming titles, we have this kind of lineup at the moment. So Idly Pride, we released the animation the other day and we've seen a great start, it's off to a good start. So we are going to be also releasing a game for the same content. Moving on to the media business, it has grown significantly. Abema related businesses performed well. So that's the key contribution to this business. And pay-per-view and win ticket which is a bicycle racing, automobile, auto racing. Uh, they both performed well. So these contributed to the media business. In terms of the operating loss, we have significantly reduced this as well. And it's been four years and nine months since we launched Abema, but we've seen a shift in uh, downloads we're doing well in terms of downloads and the weekly active users is also increasing as well the WAU right now is around 12 million so it has remained around that level so it's uh going steady and in terms of uh the premium subscribers we were trying to do a uh, 1 million trying to reach 1 million but it's slightly below this number this target, but um, I will explain later how we will, how we have changed the organization to enable us to do better. But in any case, we're growing well. Underdog is a movie that we, it's our very first movie and we won four awards. Uh, and also the hit content, you can't fool me, Mr. Wolf, but we have, uh, premium member only special content as well. So we weren't able to introduce many uh, content exclusive to premium membership, but we will continue to, we would, we would like to continue to do so to increase our, enforce our efforts. And we also had uh, many live concerts in December, LDH, Exile, and also Momokuro, Masaharu Fukuyama, Pornography, Southern All Stars. These are all very famous artists in Japan, but we had a great live concerts on our platform and it was within the year. And even after January, 
the artists and their management companies did not know how, what they would like to do in the 2021 onwards, but they decided to continue to offer concerts online because of the emergency, a state of emergency that has now been issued again. So we believe that the online live concerts should continue for some time. Win ticket has done very well in the recent months. And we've already, we're already in the black, we're already making profit, but the in the first quarter, we had lots of TV commercials and done a lot of promotions. So it's a little bit lower, but over the fiscal year, we believe that uh, we launched it from scratch, but I think we believe that this will continue to contribute to our performance overall. And I mentioned about the organizational change because the premium membership, we weren't able to hit the target by the end of December. So Abema used to do TV and video and it's a free and also paid service as well. So we have both free users and premium users. So it's hard, it was hard to categorize us or were we TV or were we paid per view? So we decided to split the organization into two. So the free business unit will focus on TV businesses and premium business unit will focus on uh, the business model such as Netflix and Amazon Prime. So we divided our organization into two and the free business unit will continue to track WAU and to inc increase WAU and monetize ads and premium business unit will focus on increasing premium users with exclusive content. So we have begun to run Abema with these two different business units. So I say this every time, but, but Abema, we started as a free service and after we wanted to monetize after we hit 10 million WAU, now we're at 12 million. So we have advertising subscription and other services such as um, win ticket. So these are uh, related businesses that we want to continue to add and grow. So it's going to take some time, but we hope to continue to grow this into a key business pillar over the mid to long term. So for FY 2021, we want to grow a large media business while media and ad businesses do well. So this we will continue along this path and, and that is it for myself. Thank you very much for jo uh, joining us today. So this concludes our FY 2021 first quarter results briefing. If you should have any questions, please contact the IR representative. Thank you for watching today.